the Maldives shimmered with turquoise water and sun-drenched beaches, the perfect backdrop for Travis Kelsey's romantic getaway with Taylor Swift. They'd spent lazy mornings snorkeling, afternoons reading under swaying palm trees, and evenings sipping cocktails as the sun dipped below the horizon. But tonight, Taylor had something special planned. After a candle at dinner on the beach, fairy lights twinkling overhead, Taylor excused herself. Travis, enjoying the gentle sea breeze and the soft strum of a local musician, waited patiently. When she returned, she wasn't in her flowing sundress, but in a pair of cut-off jean shorts and a vintage band t-shirt, the one she always wore to their late-night movie marathons at his place. Travis's jaw dropped. This wasn't the glamorous Taylor Swift the world knew. This was the goofy, music-loving girl who would belt out show tunes in the shower, the one who made him laugh until his sides hurt. A blush crept up his neck as he realized what she was doing. With a playful grin, Taylor grabbed his hand and dragged him towards the sand. Come on, slowpoke. Let's dance like nobody's watching. The music swelled, a slow, soulful melody that sent shivers down Travis's spine. But Taylor wasn't aiming for elegance. She hopped onto the sand, her bare feet sinking in, and started swaying, her movements loose and carefree. She beckoned him closer, her eyes sparkling with mischief. Travis, still flustered by her transformation, hesitated. Don't be shy, Taylor teased, her voice husky. This is our song, remember? The one you made me promise to learn the dance to? Memories flooded back. A ramshackle bar after a tough loss, Taylor, ever the supportive girlfriend, and a beat-up jukebox playing an obscure love song. He drunkenly declared it, their song, and made her promise to learn the goofy dance that went with it. A smile tugged at the corners of Travis's lips. How could he resist? He kicked off his sandals, the sand warm between his toes, and joined her. They fumbled through the steps, their laughter echoing across the beach. It wasn't graceful, but it was theirs, their own private language of love and goofiness. As the song ended, they stood breathless, foreheads touching. Travis looked into Taylor's eyes, the woman who could light up a stadium with her voice, yet choose to be silly just for him. You are unbelievable, he murmured, his voice thick with emotion. Taylor winked. Just your average, goofy girlfriend, she said, leaning in for a kiss that tasted of salt and sand and something far sweeter, pure, unadulterated love. In that moment, under the Maldivian sky, Travis wouldn't have traded her for anything in the world. The Maldives stretched out before them like a dream, turquoise water lapping at sugar-white sand, palm trees swaying gently in the breeze. Travis Kelsey, NFL star tight end, finally felt the tension of the season melt away. But as idyllic as it was, a nervous energy crackled around him. This trip was special. He and Taylor Swift were celebrating a year of dating, and Travis was itching to make it even more official. They spent their days snorkeling amongst vibrant coral reefs and kayaking through crystal-clear lagoons. Travis, ever the jokester, would try to splash Taylor, only to end up getting soaked himself. Her laugh, like wind chimes in a summer breeze, filled him with a warmth that had nothing to do with the tropical sun. One starlit evening, after a candle at dinner on the beach, Taylor suggested a walk along the shore. The sand was cool beneath their bare feet, the sound of the waves a soothing lullaby. Suddenly, Taylor stopped, her hand reaching into her beach bag. Travis's heart hammered in his chest. Was this it? She pulled out a ukulele, its wood gleaming in the moonlight. Travis's brow furrowed in surprise. Taylor wasn't exactly known for beach tunes. But before he could question it, her fingers strummed the strings, and a familiar melody filled the air. It was the fight song of the Kansas City Chiefs, his team. A song that echoed through the stadium, electrifying him and his teammates on game days. A song that had him catching touchdowns and celebrating with roaring crowds. But here, under the soft glow of the moon, with just the waves crashing as a rhythm section, it felt different. Intimate. Sung just for him. Taylor's voice, clear and sweet, filled the night with the lyrics he knew by heart. But as she sang the final line, a new verse spilled out. A verse she had written, her voice dropping to a husky whisper. It spoke of his strength, his passion, his unwavering spirit on the field, 
a spirit that mirrored his kindness and unwavering support for her. It was a love letter disguised as a fight song, sung by the woman who held his heart. Travis stood there, speechless. Heat flooded his cheeks, a blush hotter than any Florida summer. He wasn't used to being left speechless, not on or off the field. But Taylor, with her ukulele serenade, had completely caught him off guard. When the last note faded, a comfortable silence settled between them. That, Travis finally managed, his voice thick with emotion, was, wow. I don't even know what to say. He reached for her hand, his fingers intertwining with hers. You write the best songs, even when they're about me getting touchdowns. Taylor laughed, the sound like music to his ears. Well, she said, leaning in close, you're definitely the MVP of my heart. And under the Maldivian sky, with the sound of the wave serenading them, Travis knew he wouldn't need to ask anything more. He already had his happily ever after. The Maldives whispered luxury. Gentle waves lapped at their private beach bungalow, the turquoise water a perfect mirror to the cloudless sky. Travis Kelsey, NFL star tight end, sprawled on a hammock, content to soak in the sun with his girlfriend, Taylor Swift. Suddenly, Taylor sat up, her eyes sparkling with mischief. All right, Travis, she declared, time for a game. Travis, ever the competitor, perked up. Game on, Swifty. What's the challenge? Taylor grinned. Remember that interview you did a few months back? Travis's brow furrowed. He'd done a bunch of interviews lately. Then it hit him. A blush crept up his neck as he recalled the question, something about his celebrity crush. He'd stammered out a nervous laugh and mumbled a generic answer about being focused on football. Uh oh, he mumbled, the memory fresh. Where are you going with this? Taylor, with a playful glint in her eyes, whipped out her phone. Let's rewrite history, shall we? She tapped the screen a few times, then held it up. This goes live on my Instagram in. She glanced at her watch dramatically, 10 seconds. Travis scrambled up, heart pounding. On the screen, a video played. It was a clip from his interview, the celebrity crush question part, but then the video cut. In its place, a new scene appeared. Taylor, all sass and confidence, stood in front of a green screen, a mischievous smile playing on her lips. Behind her, a scene flickered to life, a photoshopped image of Travis catching a touchdown pass, except this time, the background wasn't a stadium, but a giant billboard with Taylor's face on it. The video ended with Taylor winking directly at the camera. A caption, in sparkly pink text, read, Someone seems to have a case of the fumbled crushes. At Travis Gels. Before Travis could sputter out a protest, Taylor hit post. His phone immediately started buzzing with notifications. Travis gaped at her, speechless. Taylor, barely containing her laughter, reached up and brushed a stray strand of hair off his cheek. See, blushy? She teased. Travis, finally finding his voice, stammered, you, you just, exposed me to the entire internet. Taylor's laughter erupted. Hey, she said, pulling him into a hug, now it's a public declaration. No more fumbling, all right? Travis, still flustered but undeniably smitten, buried his face in her hair. You're impossible, Swifty, he mumbled, a smile tugging at his lips. He knew he wouldn't have it any other way. As the Maldive sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in fiery hues, Travis knew this romantic getaway had just gotten a whole lot more interesting, thanks to Taylor's playful and very public declaration.